Hi, this is Exploring with Evan Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. <laughs> and today we are back mudlarking again, but again. today we've come somewhere a little bit different. No, no. This is actually the very little known River Yare in Great Yarmouth, which is not too far away from where I live, hence the reason we're giving it a little go. Yes. And um, Yarmouth having the most complete, or one of the most complete medieval town walls apparently, we're hoping to, that there's going to be a few bits and pieces down here. Right, so let's go and find some crap on a beach. <laughs> I've not picked the best day for it, have we? It's just started to rain. It's just started to rain, <laughs> so uh, we're just uh, doing a little bit of looking around. But we're going to see what we can find. Yeah. Uh, try and make it as entertaining as we possibly we're can. We're not overly sure because we've not obviously been here before. Um, but there's an awful lot of industrial rubbish around here. So we're hoping to sort of mingle in amongst it. Might be something a little bit interesting. Yeah. So Fingers crossed. The whole lot of the foreshore here, and there's not an awful lot that you can access on this river. It used to be all fishing industry. Yeah. And things like that. A few Wars, bits of industrial. Little harbours and stuff like that. So you never know. They might drop something in. Okay. Let's go and have a look. Let's have a look. Right, sorry about the wind and a little bit of rain going on. We've got a, a few little bits going on, haven't we, Emma? Absolutely. But Emma has just spotted something very interesting. I don't know how I spotted that, I don't know. But <laughs> Look at that. Can you see it? Obviously pretty sharp today. There we go. We've got a little screw it? top by Obviously the looks of it. It's like a little medicine bottle, little pill bottle. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't look old, does Well, it? because we're down here and there's not a lot of this stuff about, <laughs> I think we'll keep that. Keep that one. We'll keep that one. And might end up being the only one we find. Yeah, exactly. So there we go. Brilliant stuff. Now I'm just having a little dig around here. Well, not dig so much as hunt. And uh, I've just found a little something which I was really, really quite excited when I see it poking out. I don't know if you can see that. A little yeah. silver ring. But I think it, I don't think it's jewellery. I think it is literally just some sort of industrial ring. There's loads of bits of metal and everything all along here. Um, very industrial, as you can see, by the big boats and stuff around. Very industrial area. But that, that could have been cool, but uh, I think we're out of luck this time. But we're going to keep looking and, fingers crossed, we find something more interesting than this. I think we're on a really good day here today. He's excited. Oh, and I, we're actually finding actually, a few bottles today. I actually thought we'd find nothing. Yeah, so we're going to quick switch the camera around and you can have a quick look. Okay, can you see it? Can you see it? Let's have a look. What we got here? We have. Hang on. Let's have a look, Emma. Oh, uh, you know what that is? We have a shipping. <laughs> Look at that. You know, everywhere we go, we find these blooming ships. Actually, that's not really that broken, is it? No. It's got a little bit of a... It's actually quite clean. Goodness me. Well, do you know why? Because down by Tilbury, all the oil gets into the glass. This is There's not, so. not a lot of that here. Well, I don't know. There's probably quite a lot of oil from the old boats. Yeah. But, wow. Fantastic. I know. Well done, Stu. Shippings. <laughs> So I'm just walking along here and you can see, I don't know if you can see, all these stumps from where the old wharfs and that used to be. And back in the day, all the houses that are up here used to literally be on the river edge and it used to slope down. They used to have all their fishing boats along here. I'll see if I can insert an old photograph because it was really quite impressive. But uh, there's plenty of remnants anyway. We've not found too many finds. I'm surprised about the old bottles. I didn't expect to find anything like that. But you've got little bits of ceramic stuff along here bits of broken glass a lot of this is just bricks rubble bits of old metal and shells and stuff but uh, now and again we're spotting things that are reasonably interesting i mean what's this old metal from an old boat probably can i just mention one thing oh Stu wants to mention one thing a couple of bottles 
It's taken hours. Well, yeah, before. actually, we have. This is probably the, what two minutes worth of video, and it's and we've been here 45 minutes along this tiny little stretch. So, anyway, we'll carry on, and you never know. We're having a good day. We might find something. Right, so we just found another find, haven't we? We think yeah. this one. Well, this one's quite clearly broken, but we I'm, thought. I'm not in welly boots. <laughs> no, Stu didn't bring his wellies. But we thought we'd show you anyway. Maybe you can tell us what you think it is. Well, here's a screw top. Um, it's a jar. It is a jar, but it's screw top, so it's not that old, but it's old enough for the shape. Yeah. So I'd say, what, 30s, 40s? I just think that could be, it could have been some sort of... Ointment. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go with ointment. we we'll go with an ointment. Yeah. They're very similar to the Pond's jar shapes, that but obviously similar. Pond's is milk, is milk glass. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't think we'll take that We're not going to take it, but very interesting to find some of this stuff mm -hmm. down here today. Just goes to show there's plenty here. Absolutely. Right, let's carry on. Emma's just called me. Oh yeah. Hang on, let's have a look. We found something which I was uh, hoping that was good. Make sure you actually remember I'll where it is. It oh, there it is. Oh, there you go. It's not the most impressive piece. But it's still clay pipe. I was really hoping we'd find some down here. I can imagine some old fisherman on his boat, you know, chucking his old clay pipe over once he's broken it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, brilliant. Really happy with that. So before I actually go anywhere, I've just turned around and I've spotted another one sticking out here, look. So I mean, they're quite worn, worn like this one, but wow, brilliant. I mean, we were really hoping we were going to find them. They haven't been thing, planted. <laughs> just want to say they have not they're been planted. They're quite smelly, I'm not going to lie, but this is quite... Hang on a minute. And it's another one. Oh, you have got another one. Brilliant. Definitely not planted. Being planted, people think we planted them. Yeah. Well, that's the old idea, <laughs> but, uh, it's a joke, isn't it? <laughs> but brilliant, this is obviously a really, really good spot. So, I think we will definitely carry on around here and see if we, we can... are We are in like a little crevice. Yeah. If you have a look around here, this is we are a really good spot for like catching little bits and pieces. So, brilliant, certainly found a lot more than what we thought. Now, I don't know what this is, but I've just found it. Who is any, that? Any ideas? Well, this is obviously some sort of I don't know, old concrete or something. And this is like a Bakelite. Oh. I don't know. That's very interesting. Yeah. Answers on the postcard. Any ideas what that is? What is really interesting, can anyone spot it? We have a milk bottle. Look at that. And it's intact. Yeah. Yeah, look. An actual milk bottle. An actual milk bottle. Uh, I think I have actually. It says, London Co-op. London Co-op. Oh, okay. Have a look. Uh, it's my day, so. Oh, okay. We've, we've seen these before. Yeah, they're of course quite we have. Common. They're not a rare bottle. No. But, oh, that's quite interesting to find down here. Brilliant. Well done. London Co-op. Well done. All right, so still hunting around here. Again, very industrial around here. We've got all sorts of bits of metal sticking out. Oh, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Do you have any ideas? Uh, so, I have no idea something to do with a boat, maybe? I, I don't actually know. Um, but this is a nice little. This is crockery. Yeah, little bits of crockery. Which have been chucked in over the years. Uh, metal. Lots of. Oh, metal. Gosh, that's heavy. I don't know what that is. Worth a bit in scrap. Um, oh, here's a. This is quite an old bottle. Bottom of a bottle, I think. Oh God, I'm not going to get that out. Oh, a little disappointing. It wasn't quite as whole as we'd hoped. What you got there, Stu? It looks like a, <laughs> it is an old bottle. It's an old yeah. blown bottle. Yeah. An old blown one. Certainly got some age to it, but... It's definitely got some age. I think there is parts of it still in here, but... Yeah, it's just not... Big oily hole there. It's very, very... Oh, yeah. okay then. Well, that could have been quite impressive. Alright, so my little beady eyes just spotted something metal. And I, so I thought I'd quickly turn the camera back on before it washes away. <laughs> um, right, I don't know. Some sort of button. Actually, it looks a bit like something that you do your jeans up with. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Nice little find though. I mean, it seems like it's got a reasonable amount of age to it. I mean, I, again, we don't really know much about some of these finds. I won't lie. So if you can tell us, then uh, then that'd be interesting. But 
yeah nice nice little find there and here we are in another little crevice these are always good little spots for finding things so it's always worth having a bit of a look around and uh, I can't see anything particularly obvious yet maybe you can let's keep looking oh there's a find anybody spotted it probably it's quite obvious another little pipe stem again teeny tiny little piece but I've been very impressed with the amount of pipe stems I found around here but a little disappointed that I've not actually found a whole pipe but uh, we're nearly done now anyway so I think I'm going to try and find Stu who is somewhere in the distance there and uh, and I think we may be saying goodbye to you soon I've just spotted something shiny down here in the sand I don't know if you can see that I don't know actually know what it is because I've not pulled it out yet but I think I think it's probably just a watch strap or something oh and it is yep some old watch strap oh it's a shame I was hoping that there might have been a Rolex or something attached to it but you know better luck next time oh well, there's something interesting I don't know if you can see it I've just spotted what looks very much like oh someone's bank card uh, so I might maybe take that one I'm not going to show you the information on the other side maybe it might be a good idea to hand it in to somebody uh, just in case it's still active um, because it is from a very well-known bank it's a visa um, but yeah didn't expect to find that so while Stu's just emptying his pocket into the bag of bits and pieces that we find which we're, I think we're going to show you later um, oh, rain on the lens sorry about that um, I'm under this pier again I spotted a few little things so I thought quickly pop the camera back on and down here I found a bit of pottery and I think I know what this actually is I think it might be some sort of uh, marmalade jar looks like it says maybe Dun Dundee I don't know I'll have a closer look when we get home that's quite a nice one so we'll have that one and also I think <laughs> what has certainly got to be our finds of the day clay pipe stems now this one's quite a big one <laughs> it's quite quite manky but so is that one that's not bad I know that's what I was thinking uh, where there's one there's usually more so maybe it's worth just having a little look around the area it's quite muddy around here but, oh yep yeah, there we go there's another one no Stu was saying no poison bottles I don't think this is the sort of place that you find poison bottles unfortunately um, but yeah there we go well I think that we've had enough this weather now we've been here a good few hours so I think we're off yep oh right yeah he's cold <laughs> Got loads of water on the lens at the moment. <laughs> it's just absolutely. If I want, even if I wipe here, it won't make no difference. So uh, we're going to say goodbye at the end of this video at uh, Gorston. We are well. This is the river yeah that goes through Great Yarmouth. That's it. So uh, as we're exploring with Emma's Jew, please stay around for the uh, the roundup at the yeah. end. And if you stay a little bit longer, we might even make some glass sculptures for you. Oh, really? Well, you never know. <laughs> Just like I did on the last one. <laughs> anyway, well, I hope you like to look at the river here. We've never been here before, so it was really quite interesting. It was. Before we leave, I think we should probably say Happy New Year because yes. it is now well 2022. Yeah, so, it is. Uh, one of our first videos of the new year. So, uh, as some exploring the river, Mr. Joe, we hope you enjoy the new year. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.